Hey guys, I'm back with another manga pickups review. Um, just going to talk about a few things that I've bought today and things that have arrived in the post this week. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Um, first off, I got Parasite, Volume 5. Um, I accidentally picked this one up, I actually meant to pick up Volume 6 because Volume 6 is becoming quite, I don't want to say rare, um, I tend to find out that on Amazon and places like, hey, hey, wait, 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 what are you doing? Wait, I'm trying to do a video, Shadow. Get, get off. Get off. Sorry, guys. Got the dog, as you can see. No, no, it's not bloody time to play. Get off. Come on. Come on. Down. Wait. All right, so yeah. Um, I meant to pick up volume six. All right, you stay there. Stay there. I meant to pick up volume six, um, as that's the uh, rare one. It's, it's about uh, well, I picked it up now, obviously, but it's uh, it's about twenty pound, kind of kind of expensive online. But yeah, Shadow, oh, for fuck's sake! As I was saying, uh, got rid of the dog now, so um, yeah, volume six I picked that up the day after. Um, so yeah, I, I don't have to worry about not having a missing volume in my collection now. I can just collect the other volumes without having to worry about them being not stupidly expensive prices. But yeah, Parasite is a very, very good series. Um, I've read volumes one and two so far, and uh, it, it, it's really, really good. Um, the the relationship between the main character, Shin, and uh, his Parasite, um, Migi, is kind of kind of resemblant to that of um, uh, Seven Billy Needles, the relationship between, um, oh, I can't remember the character's name, like Hiroka or something, um, and... Uh, her uh, like symbio symbiotic um, alien sort of it's not a parasite per se it's uh, anyway I'll I'll get onto that one time I'll end up doing a review of Seven Billion Needles because I've completed that series and it's excellent uh, next I got the Kurosagi Cops Delivery Service Volume Two um, this is one of the hard to find volumes um, as I explained in the pre previous video it's uh, it's about twenty or thirty pounds online. And uh, this volume you can't, you can't find in stores um, because I, I, I don't think it's out of print. I think they're just waiting to republish it in a different kind of format because these first edition ones, um, I've got this like cardboardy finish on them, whereas the new editions have just like got the normal glossed finished um, covers like, like most normal uh, graphic novel releases in the UK and America. So hopefully it'll go, come back into print um, with like new covered new covered editions something soon because it's really worth it's really worth investing in really worth getting uh i got Inio Asano's what a wonderful world um this is volume 2 i haven't got volume i haven't got volume 1 yet but i picked this up because it was 2 pound in um the bargain bin and uh i've i've heard really good stuff about this series there's another series this uh, manga has done called um Solanin um I've heard really good stuff about that on Anime News Network. It's pretty, pretty highly rated. Um, as well, as well as this is, and this is, uh, it's kind of like a slice of life. Um, I, th I think it's a mixture of short stories, from from what I understood. Uh, this is, yeah. So I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, next, I got volume one of uh, Pluto. Um, I'm a really big Naoki Urasawa fan. Um, I've read uh, 20th Century Boys, and uh, I'm just in the process of reading Monster. Um, so I'm really, really looking forward to the series, and because it's a collaboration with the uh, the late Osamu Tezuka. Well, in fact, Pluto is based, loosely based, on one of Tezuka's works, Astro Boy. Um, I'm really looking forward to reading it. Next, uh, I've got a used copy of Monster, Volume 4. Um, because these are out of print, uh, quite a few of the volumes. I think it's anywhere between one and ten out of the eighteen volumes can be quite expensive. Um, so there's no real op other option other than to pick them up used if you want to get them for a reasonable price. Um, this was a library copy, so it had all the like the stickers and everything on it. I had to do a little bit of patch up work on the spine and stuff. So I'll, you know, it's readable at least. But the series itself is fantastic. Highly recommend it. Uh, what I bought today was um, there we go, Bakuman, Volume Eighteen. Um, the this is by the creators of Death Note, uh, Sagomi Oba and Takeshi Obata. This is a, an unbelievably fantastic series. It, it, I was shocked at how good it was, considering it's just 
about creating manga and and it's basically about two um two aspiring manga artists well one's a manga artist and the other one's a, a writer um who aspire to create a manga and get into shonen jump and uh it, it, it's just fantastic for character development and uh, i would highly recommend this series the artwork is quite similar to death Note. well obviously it will be because it's by the same artist but it's not it, it's more light-hearted because obviously it's a shonen manga there's a lot more comedy in it um and it's, it's just it's really nice it's really feel good series i, I don't really want to flick too much because i don't want to spoil anything for myself uh next i got um full metal alchemist volume five um i've read the first three volumes um I found the start to be kind of slow, but because I've heard so many good things about this series, um, and it's only 27 volumes long, like personally I don't feel that that's really, really long, because I collect, I collect Naruto and One Piece and, you know, they're really, really long. I mean, the One Piece is up to volume 66, so 27 volumes doesn't really seem like that much of a, of a milestone to get to, so because I've heard so many good things about this series, you know, I'm, I'm still going to carry on collecting it and investing my money into it because I'm hoping that it speeds up at some point and uh you know the 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 artwork is you know quite intriguing i guess you can't really you can't really see it from that angle yeah there we go it's kind of nice short very shonen-esque very battle manga style you know it's i'm, I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not going to go into it thinking that I'm, it's not going to be real with cliches or anything, but who knows, I might like it. Um, I'll probably end up doing a review on it once I've got a little bit further into it, so yeah. Full Metal Alchemist Volume 5. Uh, and finally, I bought the Neon Genesis Evangelion um, Volume 2 Omnibus. Uh, it contains Volumes 4, 5 and 6. Um, I originally watched uh, the original Gainax um, anime. I think it's about 28 episodes long, and I absolutely loved it. I thought the ending was a little bit, like, off, because um, there's two um, alternate endings. There's the series ending, and then they did um, a film, I believe, um, which was like an alternate ending, and both of them I didn't really like. Um, but the series itself and uh, the, the film, the, the animation in the film is fantastic, so the manga, which uh, I believe came afterwards, um, is... Uh, it, I think it runs pretty parallel to the series. Um, I'm not too sure, but uh, I've, I've read. I've already read volume one to three, and I think it's absolutely fantastic. I actually bought volume one years ago um, when I first started collecting manga, um, but for some reason I just put it down. Uh, I think it was. I think it was a little bit too immature to appreciate um, a series like this back then. So, you know, I can appreciate it a lot more now. But yeah. Very nice artwork. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting into this, getting my head stuck into this. So, yeah, that's all I've got for now. Um, if you like my videos, please comment, rate, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, signing out. See you later.